Hi guys, I'm Roxanne and in this video we are taking on Sam from Eva Art in our Make Me Do Art Challenge. This challenge has us facing different art mediums, different colour schemes and a word prompt to base the work on. The first challenge was drawn earlier this month and what we had to work with was the digital art medium. We had a colour scheme of pink, dark blue and silver. And we had to base our work on the, the theme of spirit. So sit back and enjoy the art making process and don't forget to check out Sam's work in the link in the description. I spent about 20 minutes researching just a Google search on the word spirit. Sort of give me some ideas. Initially we had spirit stallion of the Cimarron come up and then typing types of spirit it came up with a variety of alcohol. So I had to let the internet know I actually wanted types of ghosts, ghostly spirits. From there, I found all sorts of spirits from mythology around the world. Japanese vengeful spirits took my interest, and there I found the Gashadokuro, the starving skeleton. The idea of drawing a skeleton was too good, so as I fell asleep that night, my little creative gremlin of a brain went to work thinking about compositions, and the next available art time, I got to sketching. I had a reasonably clear vision in my head of the looming skeleton over Japanese countryside. The thumbnails didn't take long and I was off sketching away some skelly bones. I used to procreate on the iPad for my sketching, using Google to bring up images of human skeleton, Japanese landscapes for reference. Once my little skelly man was sketched up and the colour comp was put together, I loaded the file into Adobe Photoshop and got to work. So on to the artwork. First up was the line art. I used only Photoshop's default brushes, using the Kyle Ultimate Pencil Hard Brush for the lines. I kept them neat but not pedantically so. Anything that just didn't work, I would rework later. The ribs were definitely the hardest part as I tried to keep them in proportion and looking good. I wanted a believable anatomy, but I wasn't going to spend all my time perfecting it. It simply needed to read well, that's all.
For colour, I work from back to front, establishing the background colours first. Despite my hatred for the colour pink, when it's teamed up with the dark blue, I simply just fell in love with this combination. I set them up in a gradient for an evening sky and it just worked perfectly. I tested out several of Photoshop's brushes and I mostly worked with the Carl's Real Oils number no. one mixer brush to paint the background and Skelly Man. The challenge of the colours was including silver in a digital medium. There are no metallic colours in digital, so you have to make it yourself. I decided to make Mr. Skellyman a silver skeleton. Starting off with a grey base, I attempted to make him a little shiny and reflect the colours of the landscape below, therefore tying the dark blue, pink and silver all together. I didn't want to spend all my waking hours perfecting this silver skeleton, but I did want it to read as silver, even just a little bit. I guess you guys can be the judge of whether I pulled it off or not.
Once all the colours were down and everything was tidied up, the starving skeleton was complete. So what do you think? Did I achieve the challenge? Did I win? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. So that was the first challenge done and dusted. Thank you so much for watching. I had a lot of fun with this and I hope you did too. Feel free to give this challenge a go and just tag it with hashtag make me do art so that Sam and I can see it too. Remember to go check out Sam's video and her artwork and we'll see you next time in the next make me do art challenge.